Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So we're going to do a quick mailbag time and update video on what's going to be coming up next because some of the most important pieces actually just arrived. So first let's start off with the latency because that's what we're, most of people are probably waiting for right now. Um, I did get the TBS Crossfire and I got it from Git FPV. Um, it was pretty, it came actually pretty quick but the shipping was like a trillion dollars. It was almost as expensive as the whole thing here. So luckily for Patreon that's how I ended up getting it. And um, yeah it was well I don't know if it's worth it just yet but we will be uh, latency testing this guy very soon actually I'm gonna be sticking him on a QX7 and a Horus X10 um, for latency testing I have also received a spectrum satellite transmitter it's a spectrum transmitter and I had to wait until I got its receiver uh, the transmitter I have ex exchanged with one of my followers slash friend which is his name is Kyle and a big shout out to Kyle so I just got this guy in from uh, also get FPV with the uh, micro TBS crossfire bundle kit so we're gonna be testing spectrum also um, another thing I saw the other day actually on Bing at the same time I was actually looking through this I found this guy it's called the wolf box it is also a module transmitter and it's long range UHF here so it's running at 40, 433 megahertz as it's stating and it's running at 1 watt so that's going to be pretty cool I don't know what to expect at all so it's probably long range but currently what I want to do is not test the long range um, I will be testing the latency and I do have a long range quadcopter build coming up on the channel to test every receiver's basically range. So that's going to be pretty cool, pretty interesting, and pretty fun. So let's put this guy inside now. <clears throat> Another thing, some things I got, let's just quickly talk about the flight controllers and ESCs that I've gotten. I still have more on the way, but this one actually caught my eye. I don't know what to expect, but I really do like the layout. I mean, just looking at it, I like the layout, but actually I really can't tell until we start building it. So this is called the HDLRC Zeus, and um, as you see, we have a quality check past sticker. So I think this is the first time I've seen one of these on a HGLRC product. So I don't know if they're doing it with a different manufacturer, but who cares, as long as it works and we test it out and we'll see how it works. As you can see, this is a 4-in-1 ESC, a Betaflight OSD, an F4 processor, but it's a BB2 chip ESC, so it's only DSHOT 600, it's not BL Heli 32, and you have all your pads based up there. However, I still have not gone over it 100% just yet, but we will be taking an overview look at it very soon on the channel. So this is just the update, just stay tuned, we'll check this out soon. I don't want to just uh, kill most of your time now. Um, if you've also seen my channel, I did get the X HGLRC XJB F428. However, the first one I've gotten was just a flight controller in ESC, and I missed that there was one with a VTX. So we've already built that one on the Sparrow, and I've also ordered this at the same time. Uh, I was building it once, actually, once I saw this really, I got it, because it seems pretty good, actually. I really don't know what to tell, but however, this one is a little bit different than the last one I've gotten, which is pretty, it's, I think it could be pretty good. Uh, do you see that black stuff? On the previous version, I didn't have that. This is like that black tape, so maybe this is some kind of waterproofing in a way. I don't know what they're doing here. No, there's no way in hell it's waterproof. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I really I don't know what to say really. That's it. But it's different. So hopefully it works. Um, yeah, unlike the DYS. Anyways, um, I also did get a new GPS. I just found this GPS because we're gonna be building the long range quadcopter. I've never tried this. I, I didn't even know it was HLRC when I got. It. I thought it was just a regular U Blocks M8N GPS. So it turns out to be a GLRC, and uh, we'll be checking this guy very soon on the channel, so once we build the long-range quadcopter. Um, I am also thinking of doing a 1S micro brushless quadcopter build, however not with a ready frame, uh, with actual, uh, we, we, when we will actually 3D design and 3D print one. So this is going to be pretty interesting and pretty fun. All I'm missing is basically the motors. I don't know what motors to get just yet, so I'm still looking into that right now. But this is pretty cool. It's a Tinsley 1S F4. It's an F4 processor, and it comes with a 6 amp 1S 4-in-1 ESC. So I really like this. I don't know what to expect, really. Um, this is the receiver for that wolf box thing. It does come with it, so it's not separate. And what else do we have here? Okay, let's just take a look at the big stuff now. Um, something off topic here. I got this Christmas tree. 
and this is very good for the channel we can kind of like it's also it's, it's a good christmas gift also as i believe um because it'll be also handmade if you do it just right you can give it to someone but this is really the best way to actually practice soldering because this kit was like two bucks or three bucks and um it's basically we're gonna put leds and it comes with a battery holder resistor and here's all the leds it's gonna be pretty fun pretty interesting and um yeah it'll be pretty cool and it'll be a nice Christmas gift to someone. You know, some handmade's always usually better than something that's just uh, pre-made. It depends on the person, to be honest. But um, yeah, if that person really enjoys your company and uh, appreciates your time, then uh, he would love this more than anything else. So yeah, so that's something we're going to be doing on the channel, as well as practicing and giving you some tips and hints on how I go about soldering uh, or my techniques. So yeah, this is going to be pretty cool. It's only three bucks, and it's, it, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably only getting a couple more after I test this one. And just make gifts for people. And at the same time, I do practice my soldering. So it's getting pretty awesome. Um, this one we've already done. But <laughs> when we did it, I actually did not notice that I had to put a pin in myself through the probe. So basically, I was actually still catching everything wirelessly, which actually is just retarded. I was a very noob mistake. Let's just leave it at that. So I'm going to be revisiting this guy. This guy turns out to be absolutely phenomenal. Like, you know how I was telling you, I was like, oh, I was just like disappointed. I was expecting a little bit more resolution. It has 10 times more resolution than what I was expecting. So a uh, big plus hell of a big plus for this i do highly recommend it because i'm going to be showing you how to test for bad motors escs flight controllers possibly cameras depending on what's broken and um yeah it'll be pretty fun pretty interesting so uh, i'll leave a link to this down below frame i got another martian i just wanted a new one a clean one <laughs> i want I, I to be honest i got this for two things it's going to be a possible long range build don't know yet and I want to make a proper review. Um, I've done some kind of reviews in the past, but I really want to like just do the whole unboxing experience and see what's changed, if anything's changed, if I remember that something's changed. So this is gonna be pretty cool, pretty fun. As you can see, I have it still closed. We're gonna be doing this later on the channel um, and just taking a look at it. This guy, the best for last. I've been wanting to get him forever, but um, I just, it wasn't, it was actually, it was very important to get him, but the price was a bit steep, but now I think the price is a bit cheaper. I think I got this guy on sale. So what is this? This is one of the best portable soldering irons you could possibly buy. Well, as what I see online, I've never tested it before, and that is the reason why I got it. However, in my type of flying, <laughs> I do need one because you know, sometimes on the first light bulb, I crash the quad when I'm going to test it, and the wire rips. I don't, I don't have a portable soldering iron with me. I have a whole station at home. So this is going to be filling in that gap, and this way I don't have to retire that quad that day and wait till the next time I go flying. So this is where I'm pretty interested, and I'm going to be, like, removing and, and putting on different capacitors on the field, which is pretty awesome. We're going to have this guy running off of 4S LiPo, uh, so it's going to be pretty cool. So it just does come with the controller unit, it comes with two heads, and you have to do everything else your own down here. So this is going to be pretty cool and pretty fun, and I'm probably going to do a whole build with this guy, a whole quadcopter build with this guy to see how, actually, how good he is, really. So this is going to be pretty interesting and pretty fun, and well... That's it, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.